Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you how I customize my phone using cute iPhone theme and widgets. It's been a while since I showed you what's on my iPhone. So here's a quick look on what my current home screen looks like. It's very unorganized and there is a bunch of apps I no longer use but forgot to delete. But today we're gonna transform this phone into something cute and aesthetic. Before we get into it, I wanted to show you my new phone cases from Castify. Castify is a tech accessories brand with endless design and customization options. I could literally spend the whole day scrolling through their prints because they are all so cute. But if you are not really a print person, you can always personalize your case with a text of your choice in your favorite font and color, which makes it perfect for a gift for friends and family. You can go to castify.com slash FeliciaYT to save 15% of your order. One of the many things I love about Castify is that their packaging never fails. It always feels so special and exciting to receive and unbox these cases. Not only are they a cute and protective case maker, but they are also a sustainable brand. The first case I got is this iridescent case with my name on it. I got it in their Ultra Impact case style, which is their most protective case with 9.8 feet drop protection. I absolutely love how this case looks on my phone. I like how this case changes color in the lights. It looks so simple yet very slick. And I think this is the type of case that would look great on every colors of iPhone. Another cool thing is that this case is made from 65% recycled and plant-based material. And these cases have extra bumpers on all corners that are made with their Chitek 2.0 shock absorbing technology. The second case I got is this pink case with super cute print and just like the first case, this one also offers 9.8 feet drop protection and has the extra bumpers on all corners. If you like this style of artwork, you can check out their collaboration with Uin Din. She made the cutest prints and I really would love to have them all. Next, I got another Ultra Impact case in purple color which suits the phone theme that I'll be using on my phone today. I'm also going to do a drop test later at the end of this video to see how good their cases actually are, so stay tuned for that. I got it customized with my name on it with a little heart in their retro font which is super cute. I wasn't really sure how the purple case would look on my pink iPhone at first but I can safely say that they look so good together. First of all, I'm going to delete all the unused apps and widgets. Also remove the remaining apps from my home screen so that I have a blank space to start with. So for this video, I'll be using an iPhone theme by Oak Frogs, which I will link in the description below so you can check them out if you're interested. First, I'm going to change my home screen and lock screen backgrounds using the wallpapers that came with the iPhone theme. To change your app's icon, go to Shortcuts app and tap the plus button and name the shortcut. Tap on open app and choose the app you want to create the shortcut for. Now tap here on the blue circle at the top right and add it to home screen. Next, tap the icon to change it to your own photo. You can always adjust the size of your icon but I'm just gonna use the photo as it is. Then tap the add button to add the new app shortcut to your home screen. Now I'm just going to quickly make all the shortcuts for every single app using the same steps I showed you just now. So here's all the shortcuts I just made. 
they are all super cute and I like that they have the icons for the home screen bar too. Now I'm going to add a widget using the Widgetsmith app. For this particular widget, I choose a timed widget to create a widget that changes on a specific time. First, you set the time of when you want the particular image to show on the widget and then choose the photo from your album. These are the magic moon that came with the iPhone theme, which includes all the moon faces that you'll see rotate on your home screen throughout the day. To add the widget, tap and hold down the screen till you see the plus button at the top left. And now I'm going to add my second widget using the app called Photo Widget. Here you can find a bunch of free iPhone themes that you can download and use on your phone. And you can also make cute widgets like what I'm doing now. Here I'm making a calendar widget using the photo from my album. You can also customize the font, but I'm just gonna use the default font for now. Now I'm just gonna quickly rearrange my first page. And since I don't feel like covering the frog at the bottom with apps, I'm just going to move some of these apps to the next page. Here I'm adding the batteries widget to my first page, which will go onto the calendar widget, making it a smart stack. On the second page, I'm going to add a to-do list widget. It's an app called Smart Tasks, and if you have watched my latest What's on My iPad video, you would know. But if you don't know, Smart Tasks is basically a highly intuitive and aesthetically colorful to-do list app. I've been using this app to manage my life and work. It's super simple and easy to use. You can categorize your task, add notes, and set a date and reminder for it as well. But what I like the most about this app is the categories, which makes my to-do list super organized and fun because you can now customize your own category colors. These are my favorite color combinations, but today I'm going to make a new one to match with my current theme. So here I'm just gonna use my home screen background to pick a color from using the color dropper. You can even share and import color combinations other people make, which is super cool. Next, I'm adding a mood tracker widget, which I've also shown you in my previous iPad video. They have super cute widgets, so I'm gonna add one to my second page. For the last page, I'm adding a reminders widget, and now I'm making a new list on the reminders app. Here you can customize the icon and its color. I'm just choosing the star icon and purple color to go with my current theme.
if you have been wanting to customize your own ringtones on your iPhone and don't know how, here's how you can do it with your GarageBand app. You want to scroll over to Audio Recorder, tap here to disable the blue triangle and then tap on the grid icon at the top left. Tap on what looks like the Omega icon, tap on the files and add the ringtone that you have downloaded, then tap and drag the file back to the Audio Recorder page. Now tap on the upside down triangle icon and go to my songs. Tap and hold it down and select share. You can then tap on use sound as to set your new ringtone. So this is what my home screen looks like now. And now I'm going to do a drop test with this KSTFI Ultra Impact case. It's their most protective case among all of the cases they have with 9.8 feet drop protection. So let's see how this goes. So yeah, that is pretty much it. If you're interested in getting one for yourself, don't forget to use my link kcfi.com slash felicia.yt to save 15% of your order. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe for more of these videos. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!